up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess, High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, oh, that's on my screen. Okay. If you're new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading, taps to side you, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only, only take the messages that resonate. Free general collective reading. Okay, so I received a download, a channel message from Spiritual Realm, so I'm going to share it. I hope everybody is doing well. This is going to be the daily tea today, so just saying, just saying. Um, late style, 3.22 p.m. Central Standard Time style, just saying, but that's how we roll it. Um, welcome in all the newbies. We're at 10,770, I think, something like that, something like that. 10, 7, 70, 10, 70, 70 ish, something like that. Um, love you guys so much. I appreciate all the love and support. I did receive the donation. I received the donation this morning. Thank you so much. You know who you are that sent it via my PayPal. Thank you so much. Um, you were the best. I really appreciate it. I'm single mom and two kids, so it truly, truly helps. Um, I really appreciate it. Okay, so, um, so yeah. I hope everybody is doing well today. All right. So the channel message I received was, um, hold on a second. Let me give it zend in. Ah. Um, okay. So it's like a two parter. And basically the channel message is, um, the feds or about, I heard federal agents, but I just say the feds. So federal agents um, have already seized a social media platform. They're about to seize another social media platform, Dark Web Energy, I heard. And through many series of chain events, someone is going to completely dismantle a social media platform that was in place in the past for Dark Web Energy. Um, so you plug it in, however it resonates. Um, that is so strong. So it's dark web energy, social media platforms, basically, is the energy vibe space I'm feeling in here today. Um, there's at least three in the universe, I'll tell you that. There's at least three, probably a hell of a lot more, but three I'm pulling in. One has already been seized by the federal federal agents, so I'm thinking the feds. You know, whatever country you're in, however that plugs in. Um, feds have already seized one. They have seized it. So, you know, like, they took that bitch. You can't have it back. You're using it. It's like abusing abuse of power, basically. <laughs> um, and, you know, when you abuse power, you don't get caught usually automatically and at first, but you do. And at this case, this person did. And so it was so bad that daggum federal agents had to go seize the social media platform. That is bad when you have so freaking feds come to seize dark web energy <laughs> because you are abusing the collective and abusing the world with dark web energy. That's terrible. One's already been seized by the feds, I heard. One is about to be seized. So the feds are, it sounds like the feds are on to another one. Um, some kind of dark web energy. So, you know, we've been pulling in a lot of, um, weird pedo energy that has been basically taking weird foyer photos and videos of children and advertising them and displaying them to pedo community. So I'm feeling it might be that or it just might be like foyer S type, secret 7S type energy where people don't know they're being filmed and videoed and they're, they have a, they have built up a platform of people that like that crap and they advertise it to those kind of people. Um, that's what I'm feeling, but I didn't hear specifically what it was. So, um, you plug it in, how it resonates. So one's already been set, seized by the feds. One's about to be. And then I heard through many series of chain of events, uh, somebody else that has a platform that was on the dark web, I heard, um, and used it for dark web energy in some shape, form, or fashion. It sounds like it, they're not using it now for dark web energy, but they were. Um, but they still have it. It's still... It's not dismantled. It is intact and they still have it. It sounds like they're, to me, it sounds like they're trying to figure out what to do with it or how to utilize it. Probably turn it around in a light side fashion, probably. But 
um, you plug it in how it resonates. But I heard through many series of chain events, it's going to be dismantled. So I don't know if the feds are going to dismantle it or if they are going to dismantle it because they're afraid the feds are going to um, get them, catch them. Um, you plug it in however it resonates. Um, but at least three in the universe. And that is sad. That is sad. That is sad. Now, I just want to say this real quick before we move on. I am all about people's freedom of choice. Freedom of choice. Absolutely. However, when you go over to the dark damn web, you're abusing freedom of choice, in my opinion. Um, you know, okay, you got a foot fetish. Okay, you like to suck toes. Okay, you have a six toe and you like to stick it under your partner's armpit. And they're not raising cane about it. They actually like to cuddle you closer. Okay. Okay. You're not harming anybody. Yourself or anybody else. So, you know, freedom of choice when you're not harming yourself or anybody else is what I'm going to say. Whoever this is, it's dark web energy. Meaning, it's on the dark freaking web. It's not something very public on Facebook. Hi. It's not very, something very public on a, on a, um, you know, Facebook, Insta, Parlay, um, YouTube, you know, something like that. Very open to everybody and their mama, you know, to view it. It's on the dark web for a reason. Um, probably because of illegal reasons in some shape or fashion. Um, so just saying, even though I totally believe in freedom of choice, you know, uh, freedom of who you love, freedom of, um, of um, choice, expression, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, people take it too far. And they abuse authority, power, uh, people, um, harm, people, places, situations, i.e. dark web energy. I, that, I don't believe in that uh, because that's taking away freedom of freedom. It's taking away freedom. Um, freedom to grow, freedom to love, freedom to express, freedom to be who they want to be. When they really don't know, they're being plastered all over the freaking dark web. And people are making buku's of money off of them. You know? So, um, you know, just saying, just saying. Okay. So, a lot of dark web energy on here. But, it sounds like the feds are on to their ass. And I hope you're a fed that watches my channel. Because if you're one of the ones on to their ass, kudos to you, ma'am or sir. Whoever you are. Um, because that's awesome. I, I'm serious because I, anybody that knows me knows I've had this channel almost two years. March 17th will be two years mark for my channel. You guys, for anybody that doesn't know that. Um, so we're precipitating on the two year mark and I'm so happy about that. Um, but I started because I was being gang stalked <laughs> literally in my 3D. <laughs> I laugh about it now, but it was the truth. I wasn't laughing then. <laughs> and it's the truth. Um, I was fearing, um, I was fearing for my kids' safety. I was fearing for my safety. I was trying to transmute the energy out in a positive way, um, into the universe. Um, and then I started receiving spiritual downloads from the universe. I thought I was going crazy, <laughs> but then I did research on it and I realized that was actually very, um, way more common than I thought it was. Um, I knew it happened. I just never thought it happened to me. Now, there's tons of you, tons of us on um, YouTube, tons of us clairaudient readers, a lot of clairvoyant readers, a lot of dreamscape readers, um, a lot of psychic mediums like me, just saying. There's a, so, my, so many of us on here. And now, I just want to say, this is where I'm going with this, is when I started this channel in Mar on March 17th of 2020, there were no psychic investigative channels on here. None. None. Now, psychic investigative YouTube channels are common. Um, and a lot of my pro primary subscribers are psychic investigators um, with their audience abilities, just like me. So I love, what I'm saying is I love how we have positively changed the non-dark web, the web web you can go on there and view and not afraid you know whatever you're viewing is not from a weird source where it's a hidden camera placed in somebody's house source um it's a legit source and you can get on there and feel safe 
viewing, whatever you're viewing. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm proud of that. And um, we just made great strides. We've made great strides. There's psychic investigator channels now. There wasn't back in March 17th of 2020. Um, many of them, you know, not just my channel. I mean, obviously I'm a psychic investigator, um, but there's many psychic investigators. Um, I shout out a lot of them. Spiritual advisor, Alicia, she's a psychic investigator. And let me tell you, she predicted the queen would get sick. I saw, I see you, Alicia. I see you. Um, she posted yesterday on her channel. The queen got sick with COVID. And I don't wish sickness on anybody in any shape or fashion. But she, um, she got a spiritual download that the queen would get sick, basically. The queen's sick with COVID. Now, all right, I mean, not R.I.P., sorry, not R.I.P. My condolences, Queen, um, and I'm serious. I hate you're sick, but that's the real deal is what I'm saying. How would she have known the Queen was going to get sick if she didn't get it from the spiritual realm? Well, and that's the truth. You know, sometimes people doubt our abilities, but that is proof in the pudding right there. You go through bad self, Alicia, and she posted it on her channel, um, the news link of Queen, uh, the Queen being uh, diagnosed positive for COVID. Um, that's awesome. I didn't receive that spiritual download. I didn't receive the download that the Queen was going to get sick, but she did. But there's many of us out there that receive spiritual downloads. We all receive them for reasons. Um, and there's many of us now. I just, I guess where I wanted to go with that is I love how the face of um, tarot readings, the spiritual community, and people with true gifts, i.e. clear audience, clear voice, clear sentience, psychic medium abilities, dreamscape abilities, they use them in a positive sense. Um, how we have changed the face of the world and our community, especially social media community, by positively using platforms like um, YouTube and other platforms, but a lot of us are on YouTube, um, in a positive sense. And we've done it in less than two years. Because um, I was sitting there last night, I was laying in the bed, just chilling before going to bed. I do that a lot. I don't know what y'all do, but I do that. And I'm just laying in the bed. And I'm just sitting there thinking, I'm like, man, the anniversary of my channel is coming up soon, March 17th, two years. And then I got to think it back when I first started it to now, all the changes, he, but good, good changes, good changes. You know, like I said, so many of my subscribers are readers now. Um, and they, some of my subscribers have more subscribers than I do. I mean, and am I mad about that? Am I pissy about that? Am I jealous about that? No, no, hell no, no, I'm not. Um, you go with your bad self. Just say, you go with your bad old self. There ain't no reason to be jealous. No reason to be jealous in jammies there. Not at all. Everybody's different. Everybody's got different um, abilities, skills, and talents. And I am happy for um, my pre, um, primary subscribers now branching out and doing their thing. It makes us strong, independent individuals, masculine or feminine. And that was really the goal of my channel at the beginning was, one, to expose all the crazy shit. And two, to, to grow people up and manifest people up in a positive sense. So am I jealous? Hell no, I'm not jealous. Because there's no reason to be jealous. You see what I'm saying? There's absolutely no reason to be jealous. I am so happy for um, people that go out and grow and manifest themselves. So Now people, some people that do the readings strictly for money, they want to keep their people stuck, their subscriber stuck kind of like a ball and chain energy. They have to make them come back for more and come back for more and come back for more and keep them stuck down and keep them down like like a caged animal. Like they can't move. They're always stuck. They have to come back to the subscriber. I don't believe in that. I never have. Not at all. Um, and there's many of us readers that don't believe in that. I just want to say that. Um, there are some that are like that. I steer away from them. <laughs> but, um... But most of us are not like that. Not at all. But um, but <laughs> I like how we have shaped the positive web in a positive sense. What we're talking about in here is dark web energy. So, I mean, I've never been on dark web for me personally. I've never been on the dark. Well, 
I've been on porn. I mean, I've been on porn. But to me, I don't see that as dark web. I mean, I'm not addicted to porn or anything, but you know, like if I needed it to, you know, um, for adult reasons by myself, I'd be on porn. Do I do it now? No, I don't need it now. You know what I'm saying? Um, but what I'm saying is I never, whatever dark web that is, is what I'm saying. I'm feeling it's somebody that, um, they're abusing their authority and power, well, not authority, but they're abusing their power in some shape, form, or fashion. I think it's like Secret 7 Energy with the hidden camera shit is what I'm saying. Now, porn is not hidden camera. It's not hidden camera. People know they're being filmed. Or most of them. Some of them do implant hidden cameras, and that is just wrong, 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 wrong. Serious. And I'm trying not to compare it to porn. In fact, I'll get off of that. But I'm just saying that... Um, as a collective, you know, we grow and grow and heal. And I've changed a lot, a lot, a lot since the when I created my channel two years ago, a lot. I was thinking about that last night, too. How much I've changed in a positive sense. A lot. I mean, it's really, it's really great. <laughs> um, it really is. It's great. Um, I'm very proud of myself. And I'm proud of everybody um, that that takes steps in a positive sense to grow and better themselves. Um, and I'm serious about that. Um, it takes a lot of strength, desire, drive, and motivation to keep going, to keep going, especially when people don't want you to go, especially when people are jealous of you or they're pissed at you or they want to keep you down like a caged animal. It takes a lot of strength to keep moving forward. It really does. And I've been put in a lot of those situations in my life where people, um, they didn't support my dream. They didn't support um, my vision. They didn't support um, me moving forward, you know. Um, but to me, that's when you know you're doing something right. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? And I'm serious about that. So um, kudos to everybody is what I'm trying to say. Um, and kudos to the feds and I'm serious. Um, maybe I don't know if feds watch my channel. Um, I don't know who watches my channel. Um, like I said, I have 10,700 and some, something of you guys on here, but you can choose to make it public that you watch my channel that you subscribe. And the ones that choose to make it public, I get an email saying that you have subscribed, but there's also an option that you can make, uh, make it private. So I do see some people that subscribe to my channel and shout out to the ones that make it public. But for a, a good group of you guys, at least about half of you guys have made it private that you have subscribed to my channel. So I have no clue who you are is what I'm saying. So who, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if the feds watch my channel or not. I strongly feel at least some do. And I ain't gonna lie. I do. I think some do. Because um, there's reasons I pull in certain um, energies and certain messages. For the collective, i.e. you guys. So I do feel that some feds watch. But I, I'm i happy if the feds watch. Because I pull in some crazy shit. And I'm serious about that. When the body parts started washing up on shore. I hope feds were watching with that shit. And I'm serious about that. I was starting to get a little scared. Um, and then we got news links of body parts being found. So, I mean, you know, I hope they are watching my channel because <laughs> you never know what the crap is going to come out. And that's just the truth. <laughs> that is the God's honest truth. And I was watching Alicia's channel the other day and she was talking, um, she was getting messages that um, somebody had stole some money um, from a former coworker. I think, I think it was a former co-worker. I have to go back and watch her reading. But I think it was a former co-worker. But they had stole the money, but they used it in a, like a huge group, group dynamic to steal it in this community. But it was former, from a co former co-worker. But, it was, um, but they acquired the money, right? Well, they had put it in a bag, like a plastic bag, garbage bag or something, buried a big-ass hole in their garden, blocked that bitch back, um, Buried it in the garden. 
Just saying. But it's stolen money from a former coworker. <laughs> I mean, so you never know what you're going to get from the spiritual universe. Is, is the downloads is what I'm trying to say. Um, you just, I mean, people do crazy shit. People do crazy, crazy shit. And I love that we can get on here as psychic investigators or, or readers. You don't have to be a psychic investigator. You can be a psychic investigator, a reader, a what, whatever you want to call yourself, and be able to deliver deliver these messages and in a positive safe space community i just love that people feel comfortable enough to do that because if you like i said if you go back two years ago people there was none of this crap none of it now it's very 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 prevalent and um a lot of the readers are getting confidence and it's so much support and positivity to to it and it should be because really this field whether you do it as a um you do it on the side like i do or you do it a full-time career like some of the other readers do. It is a very respectable career if you're doing it for the right reasons and you truly are using your gifts in a positive sense and you're not coming on here and faking it. Um, this is not a fake it till you make it career. Um, and I'm serious. Um, you either receive the downloads or you can read the cards. You don't even have to have receive downloads. You can get on here and read cards, you know. And be very skilled at reading cards. There's many readers that read cards and they don't receive downloads. And I have much respect for those people. But what, whatever you do on here, just be real about it is what I'm trying to say. You know what I'm saying? All right, let me see if I can hear anything else. Someone that never thought they would be terminated is about to be terminated. Water sign energy. Some masculine, some feminine. My fire sign is seeing very, very, very clearly now. Oh my God. Okay, so you plugged in how it resonates. Wow. Okay, I heard someone that never thought they would be terminated is about to be terminated for a very good reason. Very good reason. Long, long list of evidence here. Okay, whoa. So you plugged in how it resonates. So not a wrongful termination. It's at least two people in the universe, uh, masculine and femme energies, water sign energies. Um, it, it's a fire sign seeing very clearly. So maybe I'm pulling you in fire sign is what I'm feeling. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You could have Aries, Leo, Sag in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or feminine, him, or Jupiter, masculine or femme, whoever you are, sir, ma'am. Um, but you're seeing very clearly about some kind of water sign energy, masculine or femme, water sign energy. It sounds like at least two water sign energies in the universe about to be terminated. I think you're about to terminate them or you're about, or it could be like a boardroom meeting where you're going to help put a cent, two cents in to help getting them terminated. Or maybe you're going to be the one to terminate them primarily. I'm not sure. Everybody's on different time of life has. Everybody's situation is different. So you really have to plug yourself in where you fit, but you are a fire sign. Masculine or femme fire sign, Aries Leo Sage. You can have Aries Leo Sage in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or feminine, or Jupiter charts. But I heard there's a long list of evidence there. So it will not be a wrongful termination. So this water sign or water signs, for some of you fire signs, it could be one. For some, it could be two plus. But um, you have to plug it in how it resonates. But there's some kind of long list of evidence um, this water sign or water signs has been doing to um, basically promote the termination. And it's not a wrongful termination for sure because you have a long list of evidence. Um to support the termination, whatever the long list of evidence is. It is a workplace situation. So, I mean, whatever in the crap it is, um, and I'm serious, I think automatically, I think of no call, no shows. I think of, um, I think of constantly being late. I think of no call, no shows, constantly being late. I think of um, maybe workplace violence, um, like physical hands on somebody, or there was a physical fight, or or theft, misappropriation of property, um, theft, 
Um, what else could it be? Um, I mean, there could be other things too. There could be other things too. But um, those are what comes off the top of my head. So um, whatever in the world, the long list of infractions are, it sounds like you have swept them under the rug in the past or you have overlooked them or something, but it, it sounds like you're not anymore or you're about not to anymore. You are Aries Leo Sag. You could have Aries Leo Sag in your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, Behavior, Jupiter, Masculine, or Fem, Energy, whoever you are, fire sign, I'm pulling you in very strong. Um, but it's, for some of you fire signs, it could be one water sign for some, two, two plus. Um, they could have Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, Behavior, Jupiter. However that plugs in your life, fire sign, masculine, or fem. Um, whoever these people are to you, there's a long list of something, something, something that you've been overlooking or turning the other cheek to or something. Um, but now, for some reason, you're looking at it um, or you're revisiting it. However, that resonates in one's life. Um, it sounds like you're wanting to make your workplace better is what it sounds like, or you're attempting to make steps to make it better, possibly, which is always good. It's always good to, you know, make take positive steps in your life and not two steps back. So um, my hat's off to you, Farsan, if um, that resonates for you, whoever you are. Um, oh, one of these is a femme, water sign. One is a masculine. So for some of you, fire signs, it could be a uh, femme water sign you're about to terminate. For some, it could be a masculine water sign you're about to terminate. For some, it could be two plus. I mean, you plug it in, how it resonates, but heavy water sign energy here, fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag, masculine or femme, fire sign. Whoever you are, sir, man. Let me see if I hear anything else. Okay, I didn't. I didn't. All right, you guys. Well, I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices and namaste.